Hey guys, Jonathan here. It's time for another Warhammer 2 quick match. Alright, looks like we're fighting Mirachis as the Hyle. So who do we want to play? Let us do... Let's try some Bretonia. I feel like they don't have the absolute worst matchup against the Hyles. So let's see what we can do. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and grab the Fey. Put her on her Unicorn. Grab all her abilities. Give her her healing. Yes, I like it. And of course, the Chalice of Potions. We can drop that on some, uh, probably some Archers. Uh, and for our front line, let us get. Let's grab a bunch of battle pilgrims. Let's grab a bunch of foot squires. Grab a great leak as well. Maybe some mid armor shields. And uh, we definitely want a bunch of rail knights. Let's get three of those guys. And we don't have a lot of fodder here, so let me think. Let me think. Our line is pretty wide. I guess we don't really need these guys. Let us instead grab some spearmen at armor shields. Seeing that we don't have a lot of infantry for, uh, for anti large, so that'll be pretty good. Alright, so Foot Squires, along with some Grail Knight Chargers, should be able to take down their uh, heavy infantry like Swordmasters of Hoeth. Uh, we're gonna have some trouble with the Phoenix Guard, but. I'm not seeing anything on our roster that's really going to be able to do anything about that either way. What do we have that could deal with Phoenix Guard? Nothing except a lot of ranged fire, but they're going to beat us in range, so I don't feel like taking that. Let's just go ahead and grab a peasant then and chevron him up. And always use some fodder. Alright, so we're going for a, uh, a more elite uh, Bretonian army. Not much fodder. I guess you could argue that these first three units are, but... Uh, Battle Pilgrims, Grail of Quay, the rest of these guys are not. No range, because I feel like if he just concentrates our range with one or two archers, he'll take them out in, like, two volleys from each of them, so... Feeling like that's probably not going to be worth it. Although, honestly, they can be worth it just sometimes because of the distraction. Enemies will focus them for some reason. Even if they're not dangerous ranged units, they'll still focus them. Which uh, can often get some of their high value targets uh, separated from the rest of their army and therefore easy to take down. Though granted they usually are able to take down the range unit that they're after. So it's a fat sacrifice thing. But I find often it uh, goes in my favor. Alright, so we're going to put our peasants up front. We're going to put our spears on the side here with our grail knights. We're going to intermix our battle pilgrims with our foot squires. Already looking good. good. So we're going to have a nice wide line here. We're going to draw back our foot squires just a little bit so they don't get hit first. They are more expensive. They are our armor piercing. And they also do not have shields like these battle pilgrims. So we want them to get hit by the arrows. And we will throw this guy right in the center here. Let's see what we can do. Let us see what we can do. So, uh, he's got one, two, three Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers. That's very interesting. He's got no Phoenix Guard, he's got a ton of Spearmen. <laughs> I, uh, I like this. I like this for us, that is. You may have a chance. I find that, uh, usually when people bring these Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers, they end up just being a waste of time for them. But we'll see. We will see. So you guys can uh, start moving up over here. I'm not sure if that's this whole army. I feel like he may have something hidden in one of these three patches of wood. Though it could be. He's got he's got three Lothan Sea Guard, no shields, and two Swordmaster of Hoeth. Three of these guys. It might be his whole, whole army. No, it's not. His lord's not even here. So he's got his lord with some dragon princess probably somewhere. And, good for us, he's actually wasting some ammunition on these peasant mall. I am perfectly fine with that. So let's go ahead and move the Felt Arm Chantress. Oh. And let's be wary, because if we uh, spot some Dragon Princess in these woods, we want to get the charge on them for sure. We do not get our charge off, we will lose that fight, I'm sure. Alright, so he has switched his target over to these battle programs, which is a good idea. 
I guess he doesn't really have a reason to be afraid of the foot squires right now. So let's move this guy out and start moving this guy over here. We'll also move you over to this side. Let's go do a little probing over here with this guy. And uh, we'll just engage across the front line with our army here. You guys can go around the edge. You guys can go right here. Good, good. You go around the edge. You go around the edge. And you go around the edge. Let's get the Bay Enchantress up here. And let's see if there's anything in this woods. I know his uh, he's got some cab with his lord somewhere. At least that's what I'm expecting. But uh, if he doesn't want to throw him out yet, then I'm fine with that. Let's just have you over here, and I guess we'll drop this back here. Hopefully he's not looking. Let's get you guys going up and around. Let's get these guys right here, have these guys go right here, so if anything comes out of these woods to attack those guys, we can get a surround on them. He does see that, he does get out of the way, I like that. So let's just drop a heal in the middle here. Wanna drop? That wasn't really where I wanted it to go, but... Oh, man, those guys took a lot of damage. So let's get in here. And let's go ahead and drop a regrowth on them as well. Alright, so y'all get in here, you get in here, you guys can worry about these spearmen. I think we're going to win the front line here. These guys are on their way back, that's good. Let's have you run into the back of them, let's get you into melee over here. He has some high magic. Let's get y'all into melee over here as well, and you can come just help break the front line. These guys will stop these guys from firing. And good, good, good. Let's get you guys into these. I think we're, I think it's going pretty well here. He has broken our center, but I'm fine with that. Let's get you guys run over here into the spearmen, and we are getting all his guys offline. Let's go run into these guys, try to break them. And we, yeah, his front line is just falling apart once those cab charges come in. So I thought for sure, where's his lord? Who's he got? Tyrion. Okay, so where's the Fae? Thankfully, uh, thankfully for us, he, uh, is not getting Tyrion to go after the Fae, because that would be an easy target for her, especially since I was not doing well on my macro and did not see. Let's uh, run her over there, and let's get out of here. I don't want to get surrounded here. Let's get y'all back here, and let's get y'all over here. Good, good. Alright, so things are looking okay here. Let's get y'all to go hit these guys. Let's get all y'all pulled back here. That's not a very powerful spell, but uh, why take the extra damage, you know? Let's get our Fae Enchantress out of there. Definitely want to get her out of there. So let's go over here and save her. And let's have y'all go hit up Tyrion. He's not doing anything. The rest of y'all can go get on the Swordmasters of Hoeth. You can attack these guys. And things are going pretty well here. So we got all our guys coming in right here. I like it. We're going to get a nice fat heal. Just... Yeah, we got most. So we're getting some good charges in there, and let's pull back all our horses. Let's get y'all all into these guys. The rest of you guys can come and get into Tyrion, I guess. And we're looking good here. Coming in for the charge. Destroy those sword bastards of Hogwarts. Yes, good, good. And that's going to be it. He is going to see defeat. Alright, so let's look at this invalid breakdown. Fae Enchantress, uh, she was just in the front line providing that drain, doing some, uh, doing some heals. Peasant Mob did their job, uh, threw their bodies in front of arrows. That's all you can ask from these guys. Spare Not Men at Arm did a good job of just holding up some Lava and Sea Guard in the late game there. And our Battle Pilgrims did a really good job at breaking through these Spearmen. They are a unit that is great at taking out lightly armored units and Spearmen on. So they're, uh, their Sword Masters of Hoa just cut through whatever we sent at them, except for our cavalry. I mean, our cavalry is the only thing that's going to be able to do major damage to these guys. So, uh, they did pretty great. His Lothan Seaguard also got a lot of good damage onto my cavalry. And his Eagle Hall Bolt Throwers, I think this is why he was lost. These guys, I mean, they got some decent kills, but a lot of it was on Battle Pilgrims, a lot of it was on... My two cents, these guys are never worth it. The only reason you would ever want to bring one of these guys 
is if you really want your enemy to come to you and you don't think they're going to have artillery themselves. In that case, bring one. I never never bring more than one and only bring it in that certain situation. If you ask me, if you, if you know of a good use of the Eagle Claw Bolt Thirds besides to make your enemy come to you, then feel free to tell me in the comments. Uh, as far as Tyrion goes, he used him very, very badly, I gotta say. The Fae and Changes would have been an easy hunt for him, and I actually lost track of his lore throughout most of the battle, and he could have got on the Fae and Changes pretty easily and took her out. As for me, uh, my front line, like I said, they broke through those spearmen pretty easily. Foot Squires did too, but once they got into those Swordmasters of Hoth, they started getting wrecked. And all my killing power came from these Grail Knights, so... Pretty good, pretty good. I'm glad he didn't have any cavalry of his own, and I'm glad he didn't have any Phoenix Guard or Dragons. That could have made this significantly more difficult. But that's going to be all for this one, guys. This is Jonathan from Total Burrowhammer signing out.